Hello, welcome to AC Picks and my Japanese sock videos, which relate to my upcoming film guide for women. My sock videos focus on mainstream movies and what they have to offer female viewers. These videos are directed primarily at adult female humans. Today I'm going to talk about Raging Bull, which was released in 1980. This is the article I wrote about it for my book blog on October 6, 2019. One of the dozens of things I keep track of in mainstream movies is the language used in reference to female characters, both women and girls. Part of the reason for this is that language is very revealing about filmmakers. It tells us a lot about how well or poorly they think of women. Raging Bull, a biographical drama written by Paul Schrader and Mardik Martin, directed by Martin Scorsese and starring Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci, includes just one significant female character played by Kathy Moriarty, and she is the protagonist's wife, so Robert De Niro's wife. Women only speak to each other in two scenes, and their exchanges total seven words. As if that wasn't bad enough, the language used in reference to women is very offensive and illuminating. Consider the following examples of things said to or about women in this drama that is very popular with men. Joe Pesci refers to Moriarty as fucking cunt. Robert De Niro calls waitresses and women he does not know doll, darling, and honey. Men repeatedly say motherfucker. They also say, on your mother's cunt then. Fuck your mother. Your mother's an animal. They're miserable because their mothers take it up the fucking ass. And your mother sucks fucking big fucking elephant dicks. Pesci says of a 15 year old girl, Moriarty, she ain't the kind of girl you just fucking forget about. De Niro asks Pesci about her. You didn't try to fuck her? And he replies, I try to fuck anything, you know that. He says to De Niro, you're a married man, it's all over. Leave the young girls to me. Want to do yourself a favor? Bust her fucking hole, throw her out. Either that or live with her and let her ruin your life, because that's what's happening. Dot, dot, dot. How much shit could you take? Fucking Jew cunt, why don't you hit her in the head with a bat? And kill the fuck. This is about, he says this about De Niro's first wife. De Niro says of her, I hit her enough. He says to Moriarty, did you fuck my brother? And why'd you fuck Joey? He says to Pesci, you and I both know any woman, given the right time, the right place, the right circumstances, they'll do anything, right? Pesci says to Teresa Saldana, Who asked you? Dot, dot, dot. When people are talking, you don't interrupt. Dot, dot, dot. I'm going to make you cry. A comedian says on stage, Come on, lady, laugh it up. I laughed when you come in. It is worth repeating that this movie is very popular with male audiences especially when you consider that women are disrespected and sexualized in speech from beginning to end. It's the type of movie that normalizes misogyny. Think of the times you've heard people quoting Top Gun. For example, I feel the need, the need for speed. Or The Godfather. People do this in real life as well as in other movies. For example, in The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel, released in 2000. 2011, an Indian boy says the above-mentioned Top Gun line. I've never heard a man quote Raging Bull, but I'm sure it happens. I'm also sure this movie desensitizes people to violence against women and blameworthy treatment of women and girls. I look forward to sharing my findings about language about the language used in mainstream movies of the 20th and 21st centuries in my upcoming film guide for women. 
Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support my work, please upvote this video, leave a comment, or subscribe to my channel. You might also want to check out my new coffee table book about adult female humans entitled What is a Woman? I posted an introductory video about it on June 29th. What is a Woman is available at blurb.ca. I'll post the link in the description below. Thanks again. Speak up and stay safe.